that particular moment when you're like ripping your heart out to find the words to tell somebody something. That's the main theme of the song. Yeah. Rosas sobre el mantel. Well, for Rosas, it first started being like a pretty simple bolero inspired thing. I've been like really digging into that because it, it was the music that my, my grandparents listened to. And, you know, like it's been part of my culture for a long, long time. But I really wanted to like mix it with something else, like with music that I actually grew up listening to when I was a teenager, like such as like trip hop and house. And I'm also a DJ, so I really like to mingle with those little details, you know, like club music. So it started being like a very, this is a bolero and we're gonna play with textures and everything. And then I started listening in my head like this little cowbell and trying to like deconstruct that thing. Yeah, basically like sound wise, it, that's pretty much it. Like the guitar is recorded by one of my guitar bass players from the band, but his great grandfather was El Piporro. That is like a very famous actor. Like he used to sing bolero and everything. So it's pretty like um, cathartic. <laughs> to have like a bolero guitar that was used. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was produced by Kit, that it's like my main producer right now. And about the lyrics, is this song that when you try to find the words of a feeling into somebody, there's like a desperate, like a God feeling that you cannot explain, you know? And it's that particular moment when you're like ripping your heart out to find the words to tell somebody something. That's the main theme of the song. Yeah. I started like writing the video, like the treatment by myself. And then Cole Santiago, she's like a producer from Los Angeles and she reached me out and we started working together and like working on that treatment together. And the result, I never expected to like be able to record a video, to shoot a video on film for the first time. So it was pretty interesting and really all about textures and like nostalgia of an era that I've never lived. So I'm really into like film stuff. And it was recorded in Malibu in Los Angeles. The styling was made by Caitlin Bitug that she's worked with Joji and also Cole. She's been involved with the latest Bad Bunny videos and the Rosalia and everything. And it's pretty nice to see like the visual approach that they had to a song that's it's pretty experimental from what I've done. And I don't know, I really like the result because especially on set, there were mostly women. I've never been on a set like full of women like that. And it was so powerful. And I think it translated into what you can actually see on the final result. My biggest influence, and lately I really recognize that, is Bjork. Like, we are so attached, like lyrically, like she reaches places that I cannot reach with anybody else. And she's also a Scorpio, and I can really feel that. And I don't know, like even visually and the way she managed to like develop her career, I really admire that. And what she says, like every word that comes out of her mouth, she's a genius. So she's my favorite and Mexican artist, I, I admire so many like of my fellow artists from past generations and there's like I don't know Eli Guerra that she's like this rock diva from Mexico City from the 90s and Julieta Venegas and I don't know like Jimena Sariñana they've all created like all of these cimientos I don't know how to say that they landed like all of these bases for me to actually start a career and I'm very grateful about that and maybe like all of my fellow like musicians right now we're very grateful we have a lot of plans like <laughs> hopefully like last year was pretty like slow paced and we just realized we didn't need to rush last year like so i just stepped into the studio and made a lot of like compositions and visual work and everything and rosas is coming out and it's part of uh, an ep that's also coming out half of the year and i'm also planning to release another one at the end of the year so there's gonna be a lot of me up there <laughs> 